yesterday's hive inspection was a little bit disturbing in that I found some hive beetles in hive number two. And so I'm going to take some precautionary measures to uh, protect hive number one as well as hive number two. What I've got is some beetle traps that I'll be putting in the top frames. You fill these with vegetable oil and then they crawl inside here to try to escape from the bees and when they do they drown in the vegetable oil and then you pull those out later and throw them away. I'm also going to put some simpler ratchet straps on the hives to hold them in place instead of those ratchets I'm just going to use a simple uh, cam buckle and then I'm going to put the feet into the feet of the elevated hive stand into these metal pans and also pour some of the oil into there and that'll keep ants and things out of the hive. Alright, we can see hive number one here. The hive of activity. I'm gonna smoke them. starting to build it out. Again. I'm going to put on a ventilated top cover, a ventilated inner cover, looks like this. Okay, move these. And this will provide more ventilation for the hive in these hot summer months. by allowing for a small space here at the top.
Hive number two is where we really had the hive beetle problem. what it looks like today. We're already starting to draw out some of the comb in the center of the hive. That's good. Of the second hive body that we put on here. leg of the elevated stand up and place the pan under it. These are a little bit agitated. I really should have waited about another week to open the hives up again. But uh, knowing that the hive beetles were running uh, loose in there, I didn't want to wait that long. I felt it was necessary to take some preventive measures right away. Yeah. 